So we've got our free theme, our free templates that we've downloaded from the internet. We've got the, the files for that on our hard drive and it looks very nice on our own home computer. So we're in the process of transferring that now to our web server. So we've created templates, the templates on our web server in ModX and now we need to link those templates to their associated assets like their CSS style sheets and the images. So that's what we're going to do in this lesson. So let's view the source and see where the templates are expecting their, the assets to be. So we can see here it's expecting to see these jQuery files in a folder called JS and it's, in, it's expecting to see its um, as a CSS files in a folder called CSS. So let's create those folders. So there's a couple of ways you can create these folders. We'll use cPanel which we were introduced to in the lesson on hosting. So find file manager and then go to either your um, the public HTML folder or sometimes there's a, a shortcut www folder public and find your site and let's create the CSS folder and the JS folder so we do that by clicking this new folder icon CSS create new folder and we create the JS folder in the same way. Now we could upload all the associated files by clicking into that folder and clicking the upload button but there's an awful lot of them and you can only do one at a time so that would take an awful long time. So you've got a couple of other alternatives. You could do it that way you could zip up all the files on your hard drive for each folder and then extract them or you could use FTP so I'm going to upload them using FTP. FTP standing for File Transfer Protocol. So to use FTP you'll need to install a bit of software on your desktop computer or your Mac. I use FileZilla which is a free FTP client. There's lots of others out there so you might have to uh, use the services of Google but I can recommend FileZilla. It's uh, very good, very well maintained. Uh, I'm not sure if it works on Mac but there will be equivalents. So you'll need your username and password to log in using your FTP client to your web server and you can then navigate to the files of your website and we can see here we've got our CSS folder and our new JS folder. Okay let's copy our files over. So let's do the JavaScript first. So it's really easy in FileZilla you just highlight all the files you want to copy and drag and drop them and they're copied in an instant. So I've already done the CSS files already as well. So let's go and have a look and see what our web page looks like now. Well, that's a bit better. That's looking more like the template we uploaded. So as So now we the next step is the images. So for the images, let's have a look at FileZilla again. So these are the these are the files that we initially downloaded that are on our hard drive and you can see that the images folder is on the same level as the JS and the CSS folder. So in FileZilla we can create a folder on our server by right clicking in this panel and using create directory images 
Okay. So let's upload all these images except that one, which is a Photoshop file which I created to darken the image I added, and we don't want that on our server. So just copy the images you need. Okay, that's done. So let's see what our site looks like now. So there's that image and the placeholder images as well. Very good, so it looks like everything is in place. The rollovers work. So now let's have a look at the navigation. So the navigation is here under layouts. So we've got the generic contact elements and a submenu. So these top three are going to correspond to the other templates we created in the previous lesson. But when we click them, we get an error. There's no page. So that is what we're going to take care of in the next lesson.